And we're coming on air this afternoon to bring you an update on this breaking news that we've been following. An Edmond motorcycle officer has been injured during a pursuit. This is near East 33rd and Boulevard. We have a crew live on scene and we're hearing from Edmond police right now. Emily Ward, let's go to them live. Out here today as we received a call for a reckless driver, possibly a drunk driver. He had hit a guardrail and some clipped another vehicle, maybe another one as well. Uh, we located the suspect and initiated a pursuit. Uh, it went all through town, clipping a couple more vehicles at, um, ultimately he ended up here on Boulevard going southbound. He made a U-turn in the street and came back northbound and that's when he collided with our motorcycle officer. Our motorcycle officer was thrown into the ditch on the east side of the road over here. Uh, he, when we found him, he was not conscious. Uh, as we began to bring him out, he did open his eyes. Um, the last known uh, information I have on him is that he is in critical condition, um, but stable. Um, the suspect was also transported to OU uh, Medical Downtown. Was he medevac the officer? No, he was transported via MSA. So both um, suspect and officer at OU Med? Yes. How much, how much of Edmund PD was involved in this pursuit? Uh, we had two officers. Suspect vehicles in this pickup truck? Yes. You mentioned the, the pursuit, pursuit through town. How long did all of that take? I don't have that information right now, um, but I do know that he hit several other vehicles as he was running from our officer. Are you guys aware of any other injuries? Um, other than our officer and the suspect, no. What's happening on the scene behind us right now? So this is actually in Oklahoma City's jurisdiction. So they will handle the investigation for the crash. Uh, and so right now their investigators are coming out um, and they will take over. All set. Any Thank other you. suspect okay. information, priors, anything okay. like that? Can you say if it's a male or female or anything? I don't have that right now. Uh, I believe it's male, but we'll confirm everything soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you're just hearing from Emily Ward with Edmond Police giving us the very latest information on this officer who was injured, a motorcycle officer. And so now we're learning, Zach, that there was a pursuit. We knew that, but that the suspect was on Boulevard, made a U-turn going into the opposite direction and collided with this motorcycle officer. And that officer was thrown into the ditch nearby. And really horrible details here. We're told that officer again from Emily Ward was in critical but stable condition, unconscious uh, but breathing. We're told that he did open his eyes for a brief moment, so hopefully some good news there. We're also told uh, that that officer transported to OU Med. We do have a crew on scene there at OU Med uh, where we saw multiple officers uh, responding there. As we take a look here at that motorcycle that that officer was on, you can see it in the middle of the road and obviously wrecked up really horrible to see that and you just really feel for Edmond police right now. I mean, they are coming off um, losing an Edmond motorcycle officer just a couple of months ago, about a mile away from this scene. Sergeant CJ Nelson, who was killed after his motorcycle was hit from behind. And so now here we are today, another Edmond motorcycle officer involved in a crash. And you see live from Sky 5, the motorcycle on its side, and you see the debris across the road as as well. Um, as Zach mentioned, we have a crew at OU Med right now. Our Megan Mosley told us that a group of officers surrounded an ambulance as they were bringing someone in. We don't know who was in that ambulance, but you can, you know, just imagine if officers are surrounding it. Emily said this officer was taken by ambulance to the hospital. And so right now, you know, we're just waiting on word to, um, you know, hopefully he continues to do better throughout the afternoon and evening, but right now critical but stable. And some information on the suspect. We don't have a whole lot of that right now, but we're told this started as a reckless driver driving through the metro, possibly hitting a guardrail and other cars. They said he, they might have thought he, been, he might have been drunk. Uh, when Edmond police officers were involved in that pursuit, we're told two officers were following him when again that suspect made a U-turn on Boulevard there and then crashing in to an Edmond police officer. Uh, Jess, I want to go back to what you mentioned with uh, Sergeant C.J. Nelson. Obviously, this is so fresh in the minds of many in the community and especially for the Edmond Police Department. Last night even would have been uh, his 39th birthday. They held 
a special uh, event there in Edmond to honor his life with the uh, baseball team and CJ's son there playing for that baseball team. Uh, just feeling for that community as they deal with this very similar situation again just a couple months later. Yeah, uh, reeling from that loss and you know everyone praying and hoping tonight that it's a completely different outcome with another motorcycle officer involved in a crash and you're looking live to the scene. You can see some of the police officers. Some of them are Edmond. Some of them are Oklahoma City Police. OCPD is going to handle this investigation. This is actually their jurisdiction. It's kind of right there on the line. This is near 33rd and Boulevard. It's really in between 33rd and Memorial, not far from Oklahoma Christian, if that kind of helps to get your bearings straight. But you see this road, you know, obviously it's blocked off as this crash scene is under investigation and, and you see the motorcycle and it looks like from uh, certain angles, you could see what looked to be a truck in the tree line as well. And you know, crime scene tape up around this scene. Uh, we're going to continue to work to get more information and certainly we'll be waiting for word on uh, this officer's condition throughout the afternoon. Again, critical but stable right now. So make sure you stay with KOCO 5 News. Have the KOCO app on your phone and we'll have you uh, keep you updated with breaking news.